Researchers have developed a way to detect salmonella in food about three times faster than current detection methods. News 18's Amber Hardwick has more on the new technology Bardot and how it can potentially help the public. After about 15 years of research and hard work, Purdue University researchers found a quicker way to detect salmonella in food. Purdue food microbiology professor Arun Bonilla says salmonella is a foodborne pathogen that can make a person sick. He says the salmonella infection can cause gastrointestinal problems like vomiting and diarrhea. Usually it comes through poultry, uh, egg products, and uh, also fruits and vegetables like cantaloupe. A group of Purdue microbiologists, engineers, and mathematicians developed a machine called Bardot, and it uses laser technology. Well, our goal is to how quickly we could detect salmonella from food before the consumers can have that food. Funia says they first incubate food samples on a plate for about 16 hours. After that, the plate is placed inside Bardot. In a matter of minutes, the laser scans bacteria colonies and produces fingerprint images. That scattery image actually can help us to identify if salmonella is present in that food. Bunia says the current detection methods can take three to five days. Bardot takes less time to find salmonella. So with this method, we could detect within about 24 hours. Uh, so it's relatively fast so that food processor can make a quick decision about whether that product is safe for human consumption or retail distribution. Postdoctoral research associate Atul Singh has researched with Bunia for the last three years. He says research may not come out correctly all the time, but when it finally does, it feels great to be part of an accomplished team. Once as a researcher we get a publication or our work is rewarded, we feel that it's a good accomplishment and it gives a great satisfaction. And it's a wonderful opportunity to demonstrate that some of the work we are doing at Purdue University could be applicable for, you know, solving public health problems. Bunia says the U.S. Department of Agriculture helped fund the research. Bardot is available to food industries to purchase through advanced bioimaging systems in West Lafayette. Amber Hardwick.